on uh, making claims about population means, again, that this time I'm showing you all the technology available that you can use for yourself. And we're going to use this problem right here. In a random sample of 82 actresses who won Oscars, the mean was 35.9 years old from the sample, and a sample devia standard deviation of 11.1 .1 years, use a 0.01 significance level to test the claim that the mean age of actresses when they win Oscars is 33 years. So always set your whole ha first, the ho, uh, the mean is 33, the alternative is not equal to 33. Sample size is 82, that's my end. Standard deviation is 11.1. .1. X bar, even though I didn't write it down there, was the mean of the sample, which is 35.9. So you need all those numbers available to you. Now, I'm going to show the calculator step first because I think it's the best. I think that's what you'll end up using, but we shall see. Um, let's split the screen here so I can see those numbers. There we go. So, um, what you do is you go to stat, go over to test, and we're doing it. This is a t-test because it's a population mean and we do not know what the population standard deviation is. So, I'm just going to click number two. It's going to ask me data or stats. If they don't give you a list of numbers, we're going to use stats. It's already highlighted and going down. Then it asks me for the mean, my uh, null mean, which is 33. It asks me for X bar, which is a sample mean, which is 35.9. It asks me for S, which is sample standard deviation, which is 11.1. .1. And it asks me for N, which is sample size, which is 82. And then you get to choose which kind of test this is. And because it says not equal to 33, it's a two-tail test. So I'm going to pick not equal to. And then I'm going down to where it says calculate. I'm going to hit enter. And voila. Uh, what I have, it gives me that my, my test statistic, 2.3658. It gives my p-value of 0 0.02, which is important. And gives me the other stuff that I already put in. Now, because my significance level over here was 0.01, my p-value is bigger than that. That means I would fail to reject HO. So I'd say, because I'm failing to reject it, I would say that there is not sufficient evidence to reject the claim that the mean age of actresses who win Oscars is 33 years old. And that's all there is to it on the um, calculator. I'm also going to show you stat crunch, just in case that might be something that you want to see. All right, so stat crunch, let me pull it up here. Stat crunch, there it is. Um, let's do the same thing. Let's split that one up. All right. Okay. When you go to stat crunch, we're going to go to stat and go to T stats for obviously T distribution. So go one sample. We've run it one sample. We're going to go with summary. Now, data means you'd have to punch the numbers in. Don't need that. Summary, that's me for sample mean, which I already know is 35.9. Then asking for sample standard deviation, which is 11.1. .1. Asking for sample size, which is 82. The reason I always ask you for sample size is it's computing your um, degrees of freedom. Um, hypothesis, what is the null? It is 33. It asks you what kind of test we're going not equals, like it says. All you got to do is do store and data table. That's enough for us. Hit compute, and you know what's about to happen. Um, Right across my top row, there's my sample mean, there's my degrees of freedom, there's my test statistic, same number, and there's my p-value, same number. So it really comes down to which one you like to use better. Calculator's a little easier to move, maneuver around a little bit, I think, so I'll be using that the most, but you're welcome to use what you want. And guys, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll work on some more of these, especially, I know you hate it, but especially the sentence part, because that's the most important thing. So see you tomorrow.